What is up, everyone? Zach here bringing you Team Taste deck profile. You want to taste? Today we have our Aqua Box deck with Guardians Rising Legal. It has uh, a lot of new fun tools to use. Uh, if you want to skip ahead and look at the deck list, you can just click right around over here somewhere. And uh, it'll send you right there, but I'll discuss what I would change and all the fun stuff we can do with this. Um, Alright, so we got three Lapras. Really good. Hits uh, 160 for the three water energies. And now that we have Choice Band, we can hit that 180 number. Even hit 190. Um, so you're one-shotting almost everything. Uh, part of the core to the Aqua Box, the two mana fees. You really only want one out most of the time. But they give free retreat to anything with water energy on it, so it's just pretty vital to using uh, Lapras's Blizzard Burn over and over. Uh, we got one Glaceon EX. That second attack Crystal Ray stops or prevents damage from evolved Pokemon during the next turn. I'm still not sure how I feel on it. It theoretically could be really good, but a lot of times there's just ways around it. Um, same thing goes for the Red Ice Resistance Blizzard. It prevents damage from uh, EX Pokemon. But these two are kind of meta-dependent calls. Sometimes I feel like I just want a fourth Lapras, but not sure yet. Uh, one Tapulele GX. It's a ability Wonder Tag lets you search a supporter card. Really good, especially coupled with something like Lily turn one. Um, and one Shaman EX. I definitely would find room for a second one of these. been playing around with it a lot, and it just seems to be lacking sometimes. Uh, then we got four Rusties. I think that might be where I find my second Shaman. I think cut down uh, one Rusties to go to another Shaman. It just seems that you want a Rusties to bump whatever stadiums in play more than want to actually use it to heal. Uh, supporter counts. You got three Sycamore. Pretty standard. Three N. Two Lysanders. One Olympia. It's really good to reset Blizzard Burn. Or uh, even just heal a little more damage with Rusty's. One Lily. I'm thinking this is going to be pretty standard with uh, Lele. Turn one, you can just Lily and get eight cards, which can be just ridiculous. And one Hex, just for those matchups. Or like turn one Hex, you can Lele for Hex. It's really good. Um, for items, we got the standard four Ultra Ball, four VS Seekers. Just standard. And then we got three or four elixirs and four aqua patches. This is where the heart of the deck is. Uh, it has a lot of shades of Turbo Dark expanded, where you just want to turn one elixir and patch everything you can. Getting two Lapras is set up turn one or two. It's really not that out of the ordinary. And three trainers mail to help with consistency. Then we got three choice band plus thirty damage to any EX or GX Pokemon. It's really good. And now that Field Blower is in the format, you're not going to want to rely too heavily on the Fighting Fury Belts. The plus 40 uh, HP just isn't reliable enough. Then we got one Rescue Stretcher. Uh, put a Pokemon from the discard pile to your hand or shuffle three into your deck. And one Field Blower. Remove two tools or stadiums from the field. Uh... Really good. Wish it was reusable, but something against, like, Garb, you can knock off their float stone. Um, and then we got the 4, 8, 12 energies. Simple. You want to hit those elixirs. And I'm finding that I'm not hitting them as often as I'd like to, but not much to change from there. Uh, really simple strategy just get all the energy on the field and constantly be hitting with lapras the blizzard burn 160 190 over and over if you can't one shot anything you can use its gx attack uh, ice beam gx to paralyze your opponent's pokemon and hope that they don't have a way to get around it the major changes i think not so sold on the hex haven't really used it except against something like greninja is what you really need it for uh, the one rough C is, I think, go for the second Shaman. There's so many times where turn one, I've already used a supporter, and I really needed to dig for that extra Shaman, or it was prized. Um, Rescue Stretcher, 100% would turn this into a Super Rod. We were playing around to see if it was worth it to run a Rescue Stretcher, but Super Rod's just 
probably better in a deck like this where you want to get the energy back in and elixir, even though you have aqua patch to get it back. You're not always going to be able to have the aqua patch on hand. But besides for that, this seems pretty standard. I've had some people tell me cut an elixir, but I just I don't feel comfortable. I just want to get as much energy on the board, like turn one, turn two, turn three as possible. I won't be hitting the blizzard burn reliably turn one. Uh, which requires an attach to the active, usually Manaphy down and the Lapras, Aqua Patches and all that fun stuff. Um, deck matchups. Uh, I'll go through some old meta stuff. The Turbo Dark, it just rolls. I don't see a way that Turbo Dark can keep up, especially if you blow off some of their EXP shares of Frog Fury Belts. Lapras is just hitting too hard to quit, too quick. Uh, they don't have time to Oblivion Wing set up. Volcanion kind of same thing like even if they get a early knockout with a volcanic heat you're just returning then ko's with lapras weaknesses really good uh decidui vile plume we really haven't messed around much i'm not liking the matchup probably especially if they get turn one item lock there's a lot of setup cards with items but that's where the hex would come in um not favorable but I'm also not liking Decidueye Plume's matchups in other spots. Uh, Mega Ray, another tricky one probably. That's where you might have to buy some turns with Resistance Blizzard or Crystal Ray. Um, maybe make one of the rough seas of Parallel City if you're worried about Mega Ray. Early Hex is good. Lele for Hex against Mega Ray. If you're that worried about Mega Ray, you can play one of those Sudowoodos that... Uh, shut their benches down to four Pokemon, but I'm not that worried about it yet. Um, Mega Mewtwo, you can get some well-timed Ice Beams and kind of just stop them, soften them up with Red Ice and Glaceon, and then swing with Blizzard Burn. There we go. Um, Quad Lapras probably can't keep up with the Disruption, but I'll be more worried about Sylveon for the Disruption than anything. Um, Greninja doesn't seem favorable. I'm really liking how Greninja's looking coming up. Um, Quad Garb seems to be pretty 50-50-ish, but, uh, that was our old list that really didn't have a reliable second attacker with Quad Garb. Um, sometimes you can get away with not playing any of the items, just collect a couple turns, set up a couple Lapras. Not sure what else to do except not play items <laughs> uh trev not plume should just pretty much roll over this deck you can try to wall off with glaceon but they're just going to come at you with something like a tapu lele or something else that can hit it probably have some sort of second attacker but that's about it aqua box this is the same list that we've been playing with on the channel uh making those couple changes probably tonight so let me know what you guys think. Uh, do all the usual like, share, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Almost hit 100 subscribers. Really exciting. Uh, thank you, everyone. And I'll see you guys next time.